You know I love my air fryer and I love fall veggies. So today, we're gonna roast them up in the air fryer. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kathy, and on this channel, I love to help people use their air fryer in ways they never thought possible. Now, one of my favorite things about the air fryer is that it does such a fantastic job making veggies and those yummy side dishes. At the end of this video, I'll link to another playlist that has more air fryer veggies, but today, I've got three yummy side dishes that are all things fall veggies, and they take about half the amount of time as if you were cooking them in your oven. And while you're here, hey, share the love. Leave a comment down below and tell everyone what kind of veggies and side dishes you love making in your air fryer. I got my plaid on, I've got my veggies, I got my air fryer, let's go. The first air fryer acorn squash. And so first you want to for sure wash your squash and then you need a nice big daddy knife to cut this thing in half and um, hold please. Okay, I'm gonna try this now. This one pokes through a little easier. This will be the hardest part right here, friends. Here we go, yes. Yay! Okay, we're gonna just scoop out all of the seeds. Super easy to do. And I'm just gonna use my knife to scrape out these little stringy guys here a little bit. Now we're gonna just score the inside, make some cute little squares. Okay, now I've got two tablespoons of brown sugar, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and one eighth teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna mix this up. And now comes the butter. Now you could make this healthier and probably do like coconut oil. I just had room temperature butter, so yes, it's messy. I'm gonna mush it around a little bit. Then add half the mixture to each of your little squashes here. This one's a little bit smaller, so I think I'll add more to the bigger one. Then I'm just gonna mush all of this around just so it's touching all of the flesh of squash. Do you call it squash or squash? Okay, now I'm gonna place these right here in my air fryer. If you have a smaller one, you'll have to do one at a time, but this is my 5.8 and it fits both of them very nicely. Let's pop this in. The recipe I found called for 375, but mine cooks in 10 increments, so I'm gonna go down and then I can crank it up to 380 if I want to at the end. And it says to cook for 25 minutes, so let's see how it goes. Okay, this beauty is Done, oh mama. And a quick test with the fork is telling me that, oh my goodness, this is perfect. Do you see that? Maybe I had too much butter, maybe. I'll just let that soak and cool down. I got taste testers home from school, yay. Hey, I got a helper. We're gonna rate these, okay? Five star the best, so decide. This is cooled down, so it's just like, mm, so good. There was butter and brown sugar and cinnamon. It's almost like a dessert. Ready? That's a nice big bite. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Are you kidding me? No? One stop. One. One. Oh, five for me. This is glorious. Mm. I kind of like it but I wanna give it the one. That's a winner and so easy. Now I got a great response the last time I did Brussels sprouts and bacon. I'll link to that recipe down below. And today we're gonna roast some Brussels sprouts and throw in some other hints of fall. All right, I washed and kind of cleaned up a pound of these Brussels sprouts. Now I'm just gonna cut them in half lengthwise so they look like this. That's kind of a big daddy. And sorry y'all, with fall comes my challenges of fall lighting. So I'm over here by the kitchen window today. Now a lot of these bottoms are kind of nasty. I don't know if it's just because I bought it at Walmart or if that's normal. So I'm just cutting those off. Does mean I'm gonna have a little more of these loosey-goosey pieces, but a lot of you told me that they are super yummy when they're crisp up in the air fryer, so I'm gonna leave those in. Drop these babies right into a bowl. Pour in about two tablespoons of avocado oil, and I'm throwing in a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And I'm just gonna stir that up to get every little Brussels sprout and leafy thingy nice and coated with the seasoning and the oil. And drop these babies in the air fryer. Spread them out a smidgy. My air fryer is hot because I just used it for da -da -da, the squash. We're gonna do 350 for 10 minutes and I'm going to stir it one time in the middle. There's my shake reminder. And these are already smelling fantastic. And they look so beautiful. Let's let them go for another five. 
That is almost done. I've got a half cup of dried cranberries here, and I've got a honey crisp apple, and I'm gonna use my little core tool. Boop. And then I'm gonna just slice this up and then cut it in little cubes. Where I live, a honey crisp apple is a little more expensive, but the flavor is so amazing, it's well worth it. And the recipe does call for a quarter cup of chopped pecans. You could do walnuts too. We have nut allergies in the house, so I'm not gonna put those in. Time is up. Wow, Nelly, those are gorgeous. They are pretty tender. Just sprinkle these cranberries over all of that. And the apples. And you would throw in your pecans or your walnuts. And I'm gonna just stir it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna get this going for five more minutes, right there at 350. Press and hold to make the beef squat. All right, let's go. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna transfer this to a serving platter. Look at that gorgeousness. And the last thing to do is to drizzle on some red wine vinaigrette. You could do homemade or store-bought. It's just a salad dressing. Oh, let's go. All right, Brussels sprouts next. What is this red stuff on it? There's a red wine vinaigrette and some... Dropped it on the table. There's some spice in here too. Mm. Spicy thing. Oh, that's delicious. Ooh, ooh. A little spice, and I cut down the red pepper flakes a little bit. Wait, there's spice in this? Uh, uh, You're not uh, tasting it, of course. Uh, and sh she's spitting it out. Okay, you can run to the trash. <laughs> you like it? Are you only eating apples? Okay. I tried Brussels sprouts. Do you like it? I tried Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Did you like it though? Yeah. Okay. How many stars five? do you give up? Out of five. Five. Five stars, huh? I guess so. I'm gonna go with three and a half just because I really like the Brussels sprouts I'm with the bacon and with the uh, maple syrup. That's the other recipe I'll link to you down in the notes below. And here's the big daddy. We've got a slew of veggies. We're gonna whip them all up in a delicious blend of spices and balsamic vinegar, which I love. And this is gonna be a gorgeous side dish. The star of the show for this next one is definitely the butternut squash. But in this recipe, you only need like a quarter pound of it. So just to give you some context, this big daddy is four and a half pounds and you can see he's, he's big. So we're just gonna cut off a little bit of this. Here's my trusty knife. We'll see how, oh, this is so much easier. Yes. And I'm gonna show you a trick that my dad taught me. If you're not using your entire squash, after it starts to sweat and these juices come pouring out, you just rub them here on the flesh of the squash and it'll help it stay fresh. And then you could, of course, still cover it with plastic and pop it in your fridge. Let's see how I did here. It's still over a pound, but we will just cut some of this off. And of course, we will scoop out the inside. This is the first butternut squash from my daddy's garden. Woo, hello. You know what? It actually would have been really easier to peel this up a little bit first, but I'll just cut some flesh out here because we're gonna cube this up. And by the way, I have a Panera copycat butternut squash soup. I have a recipe. I will link to that down below too because that one is so yummy. Do you peel all the squash before you cut it? This is about the size we're going for. That little portion came to about two cups. Then I peeled a sweet potato and I cubed it. And I used almost all of that one. It's about another two cups of sweet potato. Then I've got five or six baby potatoes and I cut them in half. I'm gonna pour these guys into a bigger bowl and I'm gonna pour in about a tablespoon of avocado oil and a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar and about three-fourths tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Then just stir all of that up together just so everything gets nice and coated. I've got a preheated air fryer here. And since these veggies are like, you know, rooty type veggies, I'm gonna give them a head start because, oh yes, there's more veggies to cook. So I'm gonna start these at 350 for 12 minutes just to give them a head start. All right, let's take a peek at these babies. Oh goodness, they are looking really good, but definitely still need cooking, so we're right on track. And while that's cooking, we are gonna add to it. I've got some carrots, some green beans, about four ounces of mushrooms. We're gonna use about half this onion and a little thyme if you want. And I'm just throwing everything back into that same bowl I used. And the beautiful thing about this mixture is that you can take out what you don't like and maybe add more of what you do like. 
And we'll just tear these little guys off the stem here. This part, it really doesn't matter how much you do. It's just whatever floats your boat here. Now we'll season this the same, about a half tablespoon of the avocado oil and about a half tablespoon of balsamic vinegar and maybe about a third tablespoon of the Italian seasoning. This time we'll just do a little salt and a little pepper to taste. And this too will get a little stir. Now let's take a peek. Those potatoes are looking really good, feeling a little more tender. So we're gonna just pour this right on top. So I'm just gonna stir this over the top. If you wanted to, you could throw some little chicken chunks in at this point in time too. If you wanted to make it a complete meal, now is the time to do that. So we'll pop that in the air fryer and let's go with 350 for 10 minutes. We might wanna go even up to 15. We'll see how it does. And while that cooks, I've got a pretty big mess to clean up. Oops, I forgot to stir this. Let's just take a peek at it. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. I can hardly handle it. So we're gonna pull out the trusty fork for the fork test. And the potatoes are done for sure. The carrots probably could be done a little more. So I think I will give this about four more minutes. And here we go. Oh, look at that. Okay, last one. These have cooled down a little bit so I can touch the pan. It's so beautiful. Look at how beautiful and colorful. Lots Wait, of are fall those colors. Potatoes? There's all the things in here. All the things. You ready? Especially that squash and all of that. Butternut squash, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, Where's carrots, that? onions. I want a regular beans. potato. I'm gonna I'm drink it. It's hot. No, it's not hot. They're like perfectly warm. Potato! Mm. <gasps> that, that one's hot. How about, um? No, no, I eat those potatoes. You don't like sweet potatoes? I could just sit and eat this whole pan myself. Grandpa's butternut squash. What's your rating for this one? Hot. I, I'm Mom, here. you said it was gonna be warm, it's hot. You I just must have gotten a hot potato. Potato? How many stars out of five do you give it? Five. Five for the veggie medley. Five what do you for think? the potato. Five for the potato. It's also good because people can just pick out what they like and what they don't like, like mushrooms. Mm. It's a winner. Oh, so good. Hey, I've got a lot more air fryer veggies for you right here. And you've got to check this one out as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.